Twilio Studio is a visual editor for creating Twilio applications. It works by dragging and dropping widgets that represent parts of the Twilio API and then connecting them together to create an application. If you can draw your application, chances are you can build it with Twilio Studio. Let's take a look at what a barista bot might look like if we drew it up on the chalkboard. We'd start with an incoming text message that starts the engagement. Then we'd draw that the SMS would prompt a user for their order. Then we'd draw that the user responds with their coffee order. If their order is valid, then we'll log the order on our server and send a confirmation back to the user. If they happen to respond with a coffee order that's not valid, then we'll ask if we can call them and connect them to a barista. If they say yes back by the text message, we can call the user and connect them to the barista as soon as we connect the call. This is what that would look like in Twilio Studio. It's so easy to do. In fact, I think if you can draw your application, you can build it in Studio. Let's see how that would work. We'll start in Studio by creating a new flow. I'm gonna call mine barista bot, but you can call yours whatever you want. We'll start from the empty template where it says start from scratch, and we'll get started. The first thing that we had was we wanted to send a text message and wait for a reply. So we use the send and wait for reply widget. We'll call it order prompt and we'll say, welcome to our automated order system. Please respond with one of the following options. We can do latte, cappuccino, Americano, cortado, or cold brew. So if any of those things are sent back to us via text message, we wanna be able to place their order. Okay, so since we wanna see what they sent in, we need to use a split based on widget. This will take the reply from that text message and we'll test a certain variable from it. In this case, it's gonna be the inbound messages body. So this is the message body or the text that came in via the SMS. We're gonna condition match on that and see if it matches any of the following comma separated values. And of course those were latte, cappuccino, Americano, cortado, and cold brew. So if it hits any of those, if the text message they send back is any of those values, then we wanna continue the flow down this path. And what we wanna do with that is we want to run a function. I've written a Twilio function earlier that just logs the coffee order. So we'll use that coffee order function and we'll pass into it via the parameters a drink. And the drink is gonna get its value from the order prompts uh, value off of the inbound body. So that was the response to the previous text message where they said latte, cappuccino, americano, cortado, or cold brew. So we'll pass that through as a variable uh, parameter to the function. So on the it didn't match side, we want to send a message uh, that asks whether we can call them or not. So if it's not latte, cappuccino, americano, cortado, or cold brew in the text message we get back, we let them know that we want to get their coffee right even if we can't tell exactly what they meant. Is it okay if we call you and connect you to a barista? Uh, we're looking for a yes response here, so we'll split based on the ask to call uh, inbound body. And what we're gonna be checking for there is to see whether they say why or yes or some variant thereof. So we're, we're mostly looking here to see whether it's okay to call them right now. So that's the condition we'll set up here. We'll click new, we'll see if the condition matches. Uh, we'll check this to see if it matches why or yes. I've gone overboard and put capital versions, but Studio checks for capitalization anyways. It's fine. You don't need to be that uh, detailed about it. Okay, so if they do say yes, then we wanna call them. So we put in a make, going, make outgoing call widget. We'll call it call from bot, and we'll connect the yes to it. That's all we need to do to make an outgoing call. But once it's connected, we want to play a message that says we're gonna connect them to a barista. So we'll do say a message. We'll call this announce uh, connect. So we're letting them know that we're connecting to a barista. So we're going to connect you uh, to the barista right now. Uh, and that's what's gonna play right when the call is connected. And then we'll pull in this connect call to um, so we're calling the user, we're letting them know we're about to connect them to the barista, and then we're going to do a connect call to widget to forward them to the barista. I'm putting a temporary phone number in here right now, but when we test it out later, I'll put in a test phone number. But that's the flow for that. We missed something up on our, on our uh, success flow, though. We want to give them a confirmation SMS, so let's add that now. Uh, just to complete things, we'll confirm the order via SMS, and we're just going to say, um, thanks for your order. Now, there's a typo here. 
It says you are instead of your. I'm sorry about that. We caught it in post, but uh, didn't go back to fix it. Anyways, we're letting them know that their uh, widgets.orderprompt.inbound.body, which will be the order of their coffee, uh, is being prepared. So we're just going to pull that variable into here using the liquid syntax and let them know that it's on its way. And then we'll save that. And that completes our flow for the barista bot. Taking a look at it, it's pretty big, but uh, it's pretty functional. We just text them back to let them know that they can order. We take their order, and then depending on whether they give us a correct order or not, we go down one of two different paths. Next thing we need to do here is add a phone number so that the incoming text message into our flow uh, will work. Since this is a coffee bot, we're going to use a number from Seattle. Uh, so we'll search for a Seattle phone number. And I'll just pick the first Seattle phone number that I find here, 206-207-7633. That'll work just fine. We'll buy it, and then we'll click Setup. And what we need to do here is set up the a message comes in and set it to Studio Flow and Barista Bot, and then save the number. And we'll be good to go. Once it's saved, I can pull out my phone and give this a try. So we'll send anything to that number, and the response we'll get back is welcome to the... Uh, ordering system, please send an order. Uh, this time I will send something that's valid, so I'm going to send Americano to the bot. And the bot responds and says, thanks for your order, uh, your Americano is being prepared. And if we take a look at the coffee order function, I'm just logging out the event.drink parameter, and it says Americano. So we're good to go there. Okay, let's test out this second path where they send something that's not valid and we go down this path where we ask them if we can call and, and all of that. And then we end up resulting in giving them a call where it says we're going to connect you to the barista and then forge them through. Let's give that a test right now. So I'll say hi again. The bot will say, hey, give me your order and we'll order something great like a Brentachino. That doesn't exist. I'm Brent and I don't have a drink named after me quite yet. I'll say yes, it's okay to call. We are going to connect you to the barista. And once I'm connected to the barista, you'll see my other phone pop up, and that is the barista order. Excellent. So I'll be able to place an order for that Brentachino, and hopefully it'll come right away. That's all there is to building a simple coffee bot using Twilio Studio. We've just scratched the surface on what you can do, so please play around with this, and let us know what you build. Tell me down in the comments, and we'll go check it out.